Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today decree by Law 19 for 2016, amending some provisions of Law 32 for 2010 regarding financial disclosure. The amendment changed the definition of financial disclosure in regards to minors' possession of real estate and properties. His Majesty also issued decree by Law 20, amending some provisions of Law 26 for 2014 in relation to the establishment of the National Institution for Human Rights. He also issued decree by Law 21 for this year, amending a number of provisions of the Law of the Central Bank of Bahrain and financial institutions issued in accordance to Law 64 of 2006. His Majesty the King issued decree by Law 22 regarding the protected sales companies which work in the fields of private and collective investment undertaking, securitization, and insurance captives. Also today, His Majesty issued decree by Law 23 on trust funds regarding their definition, assets, beneficiaries, purposes, resources, rights, duties, obligations, regulations, and management. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa attended today a dinner banquet held by Thai counterpart Prayut Chon. Chon Chan O Cha, in honor of the government's leaders and their delegations participating in the Second Asia Cooperation Dialogue Summit in Bangkok. The Prime Minister of Thailand welcomed the audience, expressing thanks and appreciation to the leaders participating in the summit, affirming the positive outcomes that will result from the summit in which will or which will contribute to enhancing cooperation between the countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the efforts of Thailand in the organizing or in organizing, hosting and facilitating of the summit, which will enhance cooperation among Asian countries and enhance its political, regional and international status. His Royal Highness discussed with Thai counterpart government leaders and their delegations topics on regional and international developments and topics included in the summit and its importance in strengthening cooperation among Asian countries. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his utmost pride at the extraordinary and incredible achievements by Bahrain Endurance Team 13 athletes, Daniel Raif and Jan Frodeno, who put in outstanding performances at the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in Koi Lakona, Hawaii, to defend their titles won last year. His Highness outlined uh, that uh, these establishments uh, confirm uh, the kingdom's high level in the sport and the leap taken by the kingdom in triathlon in short space thanks to the support it's getting in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He said that whoever followed Daniel Raif and uh, John Fordino in the previous competitions before will have realized that they were moving steadily towards making this achievement. He added they have been maintaining great technical prowess and outstanding fitness levels. He noted that Bahrain Endurance Team 13 have become a solid competitor and its members have until now won many medals. He also affirmed commitment in maintaining these achievements in order to promote the Kingdom of Bahrain and its championships. He affirmed that the team will keep moving with steady steps into making more establishments for Bahrain. His Highness said that defending the Ironman World Championship is notoriously difficult. In its storied history, only four men and four women had accomplished the feat. And today, Rafe and Frodino claimed their place among those titans of the sport as the two took victory once again in Kwailakona, Hawaii. Rife sprinted through the uh, finish shot in eight minutes or in eight hours, 46 minutes and 46 seconds, breaking a Carfrey 2014 course record by a little over five minutes. And Fordine took his win in eight hours, six minutes and 30 seconds. 
The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Athletic Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at his majlis in Rafah the media personnel Majid Sultan, who presented His Highness with a book titled Bahraini Football March of Achievements. His Highness commended the documentation of athletic movements in the kingdom, particularly Bahraini football, which will contribute in preserving its heritage and emphasize the efforts exerted by officials and board members and chairmen men throughout the history of Bahraini football. He affirmed the significance of the book as it highlights the important events and challenges in Bahraini football history. It tells the journey of local teams in the kingdom and talks about the success of the national team in regional and international games. His Highness also received writer and director Ahmed Yagoub al Muqla, where he presented His Highness with his poetry book. Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation to al Muqla and commended the idea of his book and how it reflects the beauty of Bahrain and its people through traditional poetry. His Highness also praised the efforts of al Muqla in reinforcing the artistic movement in the kingdom and the GCC countries through directing a number of successful TV shows. He wished him a further success and progress. His Highness then received media personnel Hazm al-Sheikh, who presented His Highness with a copy of his master's thesis, a poll reviewing the views of a number of the media elite towards the TV coverage of the 2014 parliamentary elections in Bahrain. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that Bahraini media witnesses remarkable young talents who believe in positive creative change. His Highness commended the efforts of al-Sheikh in preparing his thesis and wished him further progress and success. Minister of Finance Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa led Bahrain's delegation in the annual reception for Bahraini banks yesterday in Washington. The event was organized on the sidelines of the annual meetings of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank Group. Minister of Finance stated that the reception shed light on the financial services sector in the kingdom and highlighted the available investment opportunities to attract more international financial institutions to take Bahrain as a center for their expansion plans. Participants appraised the reception, considering it an opportunity to exchange expertise and to discuss cooperation plans with other banks. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,131.38 points, falling 5.67 below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks and investment sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 84% of total shares. 48 transactions included 2,203,903 shares, worth 334,885 BD.